We're going to look at how to use decimals to find a linear regression equation. The first thing you need to do is enter your data set and zoom in on the data. Note that the data that you have chosen to use for linear regression appears that a straight line will connect it fairly well. To do a linear regression, you need to know what a line should look like. And a line should look like y equals mx plus b if it is in slope-intercept form. The variables for this are x and y, and then m and b are called the parameters. They're going to be filled in with numeric values once we discover what they are. Now, this table has variables x1 and y1 in it. That's going to be important for our regression, because when we do the regression statement, we're going to pair up y with y1 from the table. So I'm going to change y to y1, so it's going to use the y column. And then I use the tilde key, which means approximate, making an approximate model that's going to go through these data points. I'm going to type in the letter M to let the equation calculate the slope for me based on X1 in the input column, and then again, plus B. So you can see that this line that we have here roughly fits the center of the data. It won't go through every point because these points were not perfectly linear, but they were very close. They could be approximated by a linear equation. So a couple changes from the original form of the line is we change the equal sign to approximate to give decimals the command to do regression to approximate a line. And then we don't use X and Y in the regression statement. We need to tell it where to find the data. Since this table has X1 and Y1, I used X1 and Y1. If you were in a table that had X2 and Y2 or other labels, then you would modify those the same way. Now we can write the line as a function with the parameters, f of x is my y here, f of x or y equals m, I can see the parameter here is 2.3, x plus b, I can see the parameter here is b is a negative 0 0.2. And now this line is exactly on top of the regression line, it's been rewritten. I also, if I had more difficult to write parameters for m and b, if they were longer, had more decimal places, or if I needed more accurate, I also could write it with the letters M and B because M and B have now been defined to be equal to those parameter values here. So a couple of different ways that I can write the expression. You can see that all of these line up on top of the regression equation.